Now, a 10 News Morning Original. New reporting, first at 6. Happening right now, research flights are going through storms over the Pacific Ocean to learn more about atmospheric rivers. 10 News reporter Jared Aarons in the Live Center this morning. Jared, they are sending their data back here to San Diego. They are. This flight that took off yesterday of the Air Force Hurricane Hunters is sending all of that information to the Scripps Institution of Oceanography. And it's going to help researchers do a better job of predicting these superstorms that can bring more flooding and even worse to California. Sector towards the Flying above the clouds, this team of scientists is heading into the storm. We just noticed this really cool boundary feature. Their mission to drop dozens of these sensors called dropsons into atmospheric rivers. That is going to give us uh, temperature, pressure, moisture, and winds uh, four times a second all the way until it falls to the ocean. That's thousands of data points for each storm. And this winter, the Scripps Institution of Oceanography teamed up with the National Weather Service, the Air Force, and the Navy to send three planes into 12 different atmospheric rivers. Each one of these circles indicates a spot where the Air Force is going to release a drop on. That information will help scientists learn more about how the storms form and what they can do. Atmospheric rivers bring California half of its yearly water supply, but also up to 90% of the flooding. Understanding them can help cities and counties manage water resources and save lives. We can see an atmospheric river coming, but those details on where exactly is it going to make landfall, how strong will it be, how long will it last, those are things that we are trying to improve on. Now those three planes are stationed in Northern California, Portland, and also Hawaii. Scripps has done studies like this one before, but never on this large of a scale. In the Live Center, Jared Aarons, 10 News. Thank you, Jared. That is fascinating. Mm -hmm. Love the technology. Right? You drop these devices through, we'll get all this information. Yeah, Somebody who knows a thing or two about atmospheric rivers yeah. over here. I was very excited that Jared went and did this story, and they said that the next one that they're working on is for this atmospheric river right here, which is impacting the Northwest. So, or the Pacific Northwest, I should really say, right now. But you can see all of that moisture coming in from basically Hawaii. Those atmospheric rivers tapping in to tropical moisture. They have a lot. A lot of moisture associated with them.